here. They just so happened to be across the street at something else. Like, they were yeah. never called. All I see is them coming towards me. She's putting her gloves. He's on the radio. And I'm like letting them know, like, stop whatever you are doing. You don't have to call anyone. Um, because, yeah. you know, I, I I felt confident in everything that was going on. But also, I did not want her to feel so violated. Boggling, and but we are so happy that it brought smiles to people's faces and it brought a little joy in the world during yeah. this craziness. things in my native community that just make sense. Behind my mother's house is a sirlo or ice cellar. This cellar is basically a hole dug into the ground, 20 feet below the surface of the tundra. This is where we preserve our whale, seal, caribou, any sort of native food, really. This works because about one foot below the surface of the ground is permafrost, where the ground is permanently frozen throughout the year. This provides a storage big enough to keep food for the entire year, specifically where the crews keep their bowhead whale. Who's the daddy? I, I graduate aid with honors. I call Nate O'Connor. In my native house that just makes sense. A 10 foot piece of baleen from my uncle's whale, once used for things like sled runners and rope, now sits in my living room representing beauty, strength, and heritage. Hey, I'm from Alaska, and here is a map of our great state. 
You might not have seen it like this before because it in this one it's separated by uh, indigenous language groups. I'm from all the way up here from the Inupiaq region, northernmost point in the United States. A clown. That's clown. You guys need to stop criticizing indigenous people for the way they live, how they look, what they eat, what they have in their house. I'm specifically talking to all you people that are trying to bash me for eating bowhead whale. Just so you know, it's a protected species and we are allowed by the United States government and the International Whaling Commission to hunt bowhead whale subsistently, okay? The population is not in jeopardy like you believe from World Wildlife Foundation. You have been a victim of propaganda if that's what you believe. See, you know, this is what I'm talking about. What makes you think that you can talk about our sacred practices in this way? I mean, it's almost the equivalent of like bashing your religion or I mean, even bashing your mother. It's what sustains us. And I, I don't even know what to say. It's like, do you not hold anything sacred? That's what I feel like when I see comments like this. I'll pray for you. Who's next? Oh, Did you just give birth? No, no. no. Is this a sheep? Okay. No, 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 no. 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 Okay. Move. Okay. Move. Okay.
A mask? What? I think he's oh, he's coming back. back. Do you need a mask? Get ready to run. What else do you want? Just to give masks. No, look, if you're not making my right, and not my right, first of all. We're just trying to hand I out. I don't give a f what you're trying to do. You believe in a mask? I don't. Guys, we've got a cure for the mask shortage. We've got masks. If anyone needs a mask, we've got them. You don't need one? Why not? I don't know if anybody has ever explained I heard about that, but I heard about this other thing. Yeah. I know where I'm going when I die. You guys? Uh, I don't know. The sky? Hopefully to a pokey shot. Uh, where, where do you go? Oh, you don't so want to go to hell, do you? No, that'd suck. Yep. You know, the mask tells me I'm supposed to be doing something. Right. If I'm out here, nobody's going to tell me. For sure. If, if we had a cooler design, would that make a difference? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. All right, later, dudes. Yeah, be well. Excuse me, my man. We're giving away free masks. He's smart. He's socially distancing. Sorry, sir. Dude, what yeah, kind of sunscreen sure. do you use? Just like a Walmart brand. Oh, nice. I just use like the 50 spray. You know? Dude, you got such an even base. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I've been out a lot. You know, when you get laid off from work, you got time to hang out on the beach, right? Dude, same here. <laughs> yeah. We can only give you masks if you wear it on the beach. We should I can't do it. Yeah. I'm walking 20 miles, man. It ain't gonna work. That's a long walk, dude. Congrats. You can't wear a mask if you walk? I don't know. Maybe it obscures vision. I oh, need salt water, because it's You breathe the salt water, it's healthy. What? Oh, dude, I'm gonna put salt on everything now. No, no, no. sea salt. Sea salt. Oh. The other salt, you can get It can kill you. What's your cost? Nudist for masks? Seriously? Yeah, we're nudists. Right on. A little bit of action you know, there. I hang out on a couple dude beaches myself. Oh, right on, dude. Oh, yeah. Drop a little dong there, yeah. That's what you guys call it. Dropping dong. Dropping yeah. drop dong. Yeah. Right on. Why not? What do you mean? Hey, do you guys need a mask? No, we don't. Why? You don't? Because there's this thing called coronavirus. Really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah well, it's a bullshit lie. 
Really? Who made up the lie? What? He's pissed. I love passion. Yeah, me too. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you need masks? No. All right, see you later. Do you guys have masks? No. You guys are just going around willy-nilly with no masks? Yeah. If I give you these masks, are you guys going to wear them? Sure. sure. You swear on it? Yes. On Tyler, the creator? Yes, sir. All right, dude. Whoa, right wow. Now. All right, see you guys. Later. Dude, everyone here is so cool. You're hanging out masks if you want. No, oh, I have masks. I have a too. Thank you. Why aren't you guys wearing them? Oh, okay. That makes sense. So. No, I'm good, thanks. Damn it. Are you pro mask, bro? Do you want a mask? It's all fake, dude. Come on. I'm good, man. Nah, man. No. That's a fraud, I like, bro. I like freedom, dog. I'm I like good. I like fresh air. Just shut down the f***ing country. That's f***ing yeah, man. I'm good. But does wearing a mask shut down the country? When you close down half the economy, yeah. yeah I think so. But can't we open it up quicker if we all wear masks? Nah, no, dude. That's a talking point on the TV, bro. He says it's not a mask. It's a puzzle. What? What does that mean? Yeah, what does that mean? What? Do you know what a muzzle is? No. Who's got to you guys? Oh, good question. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I don't even know. Just a benevolent superseding intelligence. Hey, what's up, Rick? So f***ing cool. Dude, Rick is the coolest, dude. What up, dude? Do you, you wear a mask? God does love me. Do you wear a mask? What? I think he's oh, he's back. coming back. Do you need a mask? Get ready to run. What else you want? Just to give masks. No, look, at, you're not making my right and not my rights, first of all. We're just trying to hand I out. I don't give a f what you're trying to do. You believe in a mask? I don't. That's cool. Leave it alone. Or we're if just. You want some of me? Come on and get this. No, we're not trying to fight anyone. We just want to hand out masks. Yeah, do you want a okay. mask? Maybe we do a happy hour at Sharky's later. Well, we learned a valuable lesson today. Don't hand out masks when you're wearing sandals, dude. If you're gonna hand out masks, wear shoes you can fight in. Or run. Better to run. And don't bring your favorite shirt, because it might get muffed up. Yep. I've been sick since the day I turned 27. It's been over a month now. They told me that my appendix was the size of a baseball. They also removed um, part of my colon and they told me that coronavirus had literally, quote, been a lightning strike uh, to my body. My body just wasn't able to fight it all off. So on the 23rd, I started feeling the flu-like symptoms, pretty much every coronavirus symptom that there is, except for the fever and shortness of breath. I never had a fever until after I was in the hospital. On June 26th, I was finally able to get tested. I tried to get tested on the 25th and they ran out of tests. So the 26th, I was tested for coronavirus. I got my results back on the 30th as positive. I started to feel better after the two weeks. Um, and then my flu-like symptoms came back with a very, 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 very severe abdomen pain. Um, so I let that go for two days. Um, it didn't get better. So on July 9th, I went to the emergency room with um, the abdomen pain and they kept me <laughs> for 11 days. Uh, they tested me again on that day and I tested positive again for coronavirus. And they, after running numerous tests, they told me that my appendix had ruptured um, and it needed to come out immediately. The uh, OR team actually told me that uh, I was one of several gastrointestinal patients that they had seen that also had coronavirus. So they think that there's some kind of connection. It's just the fact that we don't know enough about this disease at this point. I really 
honestly still don't feel good. I don't really have a timeline to return to work still at this point. Um, so it's definitely something to take seriously. And like I said, even with me covering the story, knowing how serious it was, even I was guilty of thinking of, okay, you know, if I get it, I'm down two weeks and I'll be okay. And I am okay, fortunately. Um, but I don't know how this will affect me, you know, for the rest of my life. They told me that when I left the hospital, my lungs sounded good for a COVID patient, but they are diminished. Um, my chest x-rays, they said looked okay. So I don't have a ton of lung damage, fortunately, um, but I am missing part of my colon now. Um, and you know, I could have stuff pop up later on. They just don't know at this point.